Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Paul Taylor. I own and operate TCI Development. We're a building contracting company located in Southern California. If you've been following along, we are back out here on the massive modern home going in the Temecula wine country. My electrician Jeremy's here today, him and Cody, they're gonna get started on their rough and electrical. They're down there getting their, their uh, 400 amp panel uh, prep to go in. We're gonna go down and film that in just a moment. But uh, on the last video, I showed you guys how we have double frame walls upstairs and how we have a double bottom plate because we're gonna have lightweight concrete. And as you can see behind me, my uh, welder, George Welding has put up all the steel for the porch. We have cut the rafters to go on that. And I'm gonna go down there and show you how we made all those connections with that lumber to that steel and just cover everything that's happened since the last video. If you guys wouldn't mind giving us a thumbs up on our video, it just helps uh, YouTube to recommend our video to other people and it's helping us grow the channel. You know, without the likes, we can't grow the channel. And then go down there on one of those corners and hit the subscribe button and follow us on all of our projects. So let's go down right now and find out what's happening out here today. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's go over here and talk to Jeremy and Cody and find out what they're up to. They're getting their panels ready to put in. So this house is gonna have a main panel, a 400 amp main panel, and then it's gonna have three 200 amp sub panels. So they're getting everything prepped for that right now. So we'll just go over here real quick and check it out. Let's look inside here. <clears throat> you see right here, Cody's getting this ready for the sub panels. We're gonna have three of them right here in this bay. This is right inside the garage. And then the main panel is gonna go right here <clears throat> on the outside. Jeremy's over there prepping that right now. That's a 400 amp panel. Go in here and check it out. This is Cody here. You guys have seen him in previous videos. He's working on one of the 200 amp panels. And Jeremy is over here working on the 400 amp panel. How's it going, Jeremy? Good, how are you? Okay, big old panel going in here. And if you guys recall in a previous video, I showed you how we lay out all the conduits coming up out of the uh, concrete. You know, when our guys come to pour the concrete, we make a template. So that panel that Jerry, Jeremy's messing with, that panel's quite large and it's quite heavy. So we don't want him to have to fuss around with a bunch of these uh, conduits or have to heat these up and bend them into place to get them to go up into the panel. So we make templates for these panels. That way, when he's done with that, they won't have trouble setting that panel onto these conduits. So here's your main conduit going up into the panel. That's the main feed. This one's gonna go down. This is uh, for the gate that's gonna go down below. And then these right here are all extras. This is an extra that stubs out right here. This conduit right here will come out of the panel. This one's the one that runs through the foundation and stubs out over there. That's gonna be for the future pool, swimming pool panel. So instead of going all the way around the house, we ran that under the foundation and stubbed it out on the far end. And then this short one down here, that's gonna be for low voltage wiring. That's gonna be for a low voltage uh, panel that's gonna go on the inside right here. So we like to think ahead on all that stuff, right? We don't want things stubbing out of the wall. As I mentioned before, when we do our stucco here, this is gonna be a smooth finish. I don't want a bunch of pipes coming out. And when we do the swimming pool, I don't wanna to have to drill into the panel and bring a pipe out and run it down the stucco, especially on the entrance to this garage. So you can see right here, this is the entrance into this garage. We don't want a bunch of pipes sticking out anywhere. So that was, that's what's happening right now with the electrical. So let's go around and find out what's going on on the porch with all the steel and how we made those connections over there. Okay, let's go over here and take a look at how we mounted these rafters to all this steel that you see out front here. You see this massive steel? but we have wood structures that have to attach to the steel. So let's go around here. You can see the rafters here. These are two by 14. We have a ledger on the wall. These are two by 14s and we cut them from two by 14 down to two by 10. So there's a four inch drop. So the water will go off of this roof system. But you can see right here, let me get out the sunlight. You can see the massive Nelson studs that we have coming through the lumber. So we have a four by four that is bolted we, we welded Nelson studs to the C channel, then we bolted a four x four, and then we bolted a two x 10 ledger onto that four x four, 
and then put our rafter hangers and our rafters are hanging onto that. But that's how we attach this to this system. Okay, we have these Nelson studs welded on here. You see over here, there's not any because this gets a skylight. Okay. And those bolts that you see sticking out of there, the reason we call them, uh, Nel well, the reason they're called Nelson studs, they were invented by Edward Ted Nelson. He worked for the United States Navy in 1939, and he worked out of the Mare Island Shipyard in Vallejo, California. And as a means to speed up production of shipbuilding, he invented these stud welding systems. And they're now made by stud, uh, Nelson Stud Manufacturing or Nelson Stud Systems. So that's why they call those, they're just threaded bolts. You know, they don't have a head on the other end, but that's why they're called Nelson Studs. Anyway, you can see all the way over here, you know, that's how we attached all of it, right? Because we needed a method to attach everything to that steel. And then over here, you know, we had a flange welded onto the end of the C channel, and then we bolted those to solid blocking in the wall. And we'll go up top right now, and I'll show you what's happening up there. Okay, and you can see how our rafters come across here. Same thing. These are 4 by 10 uh, HSS, you know, steel, uh, our steel uh, rafters. This is all going to be open. This, all the rafters here are going to get painted. It's going to be all painted like a matte black. And then the 2 by 14 rafters you see up above, that's the lid for this porch. That's all going to get stucco. But that's how we mounted them to the wall. We welded flanges on the end and bolted this steel to the wall. And then over here, because this massive 10 by 14, well, this goes all the way on the inside. You can see it right there. It goes all the way over into this pocket and extends all the way out. So when we get down here, we just welded everything to these, right? You see that giant hip up above? This is a 10 by 14 hip. Okay, and here's our, oops, hit the cord. Here's our jack rafters coming off of that, right? And this right here is gonna be an open skylight. So you see the two by 14 sitting up there, rafter? That will get wrapped with metal cladding that will be painted black. But this is a skylight out on the porch and the rest of this gets stucco. Okay, so let's go up top. Okay, so you can see what's happening up here. We have windows up here. These windows will have automated blinds, right? That work from a switch or from a remote control that will open all the way up. Okay, now, in order to bolt this lumber, these two by 14s right here, we had to weld some chairs with Nelson studs on top of them or with all thread. Uh, I'll show you right over here. Make sure all this is nailed before I go stepping on it. Okay, you see right here, we had to weld some chairs because the bottom of this two by 14 is almost to the top of this. So we welded some all thread on chairs, ran it all the way through and then bolted it. Okay. All the way down, see over there. Okay, we just wanna keep this stuff nice and solid. This is all gonna get roof sheeted today. All right, so we have our plywood going down on here. And I'll show you how the water is going to come off of this right here. Now, you see the top of the C channel and then behind this future flash, you see we ran flashing between the four by four that's bolted to the C channel. We ran this future flash down between the metal and the, and the wood, okay? The reason we did that, if any water ever gets down between there, we want it to run down the flashing and not ever sit on the lumber, okay? But this gets a very unique trough system right here. So our roofing will go on here, right? And then we will have our metal come over and then come across and then come off the front of the C channel. And we will have like, a three quarter inch lip that goes over and kind of wraps around this C channel right here, keeps the metal on there. So the water will come over here and then go off the front. That's the way that's going to work.
Okay, I'll go up top and show you guys what's happening up on top of the building. You know, there, there's a lot going on up there. We have about 41 roof drains that go into this structure. Okay, and then we have to run that piping through the rafters and get it out and drain it out the house. But I'll go up, I'll go up top right now, show you what's happening up there and how we're going to divert all this water. So stand by. Okay, we're up here on top now, not on the very top, but we're up above the porch right here. I just showed you all the steel down below, okay? These are massive rim joists that are on here, okay? These are inch and a three quarter thick by 20 inches. And then we build a wall behind here, so there'll be a three and a half inch wall behind here, and this all this roofing comes across, and there'll be a cap that goes over that, all right? But you can see right here, here's a flat roof above the living area, and same up top. Same exact systems happening up above. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I'm, I don't feel like climbing up there, but you can see the size of this right here. Like I said, I have big hands, and this stuff is uh, 20 inches, inch and three quarter thick by 20. But what we're going to do, so the water will come off, right? All of our roofing is going to go on here, and the water will come off, sheet off the flat area down here. But you can see this is also flat right now. Well, we can't have it flat. We have roof drains that go up here. So we're going to build crickets up here. Uh, you might call it something different in a different state. We call them crickets out here. It's just a raised platform to divert water where we want it to go. And we don't like flat roofs ever. I don't care what anyone says. A flat roof will leak eventually. And we don't like flat roofs. So we're going to make sure this roof is not flat. We'll give it a one and a half to two to 12 slope. We will slope it with crickets to the drain. So we will be building crickets all throughout here, all around the whole entire top up above and right here, all the way around. There's Wes, that's my framing uh, contractor. So all of this that you see, we have to have a way of getting the water to the drains and we can't leave it flat like this. So we'll build crickets and I'll cover that when we get to it. Okay, this structure right here, right? This looks like a giant chimney sticking up. Here's the front of the house over here. This looks like a giant chimney sticking up, but it's not. This is a mechanical room, okay? So we have a four foot, four foot by four foot sealed door that goes on here with a lock. And then our heating and air will go in here and our ducting will run down through the floor and carry out throughout the house. So we have two of these on the structure. We have one over here and one on the far side around there. So you probably saw that in the last video. But uh, same here, you see all this flat area down here? You know, we can't have that sit like that, so we're gonna build crickets to divert water, and then we'll, we will put the water, uh, the drains, we will put uh, really nice drains at the low end of the cricket, so water will go to the drains. But that's what's happening up here today. You know, we're continuing on, finishing up all the sheeting. We still have a lot of sheeting to do up here. And uh, then we're gonna start in on building these crickets. We have our inspector coming today because down there we have a giant you see all that steel down below in that giant footing okay that's a bond beam right we couldn't do that when we poured the foundation because we had to put up these giant i-beams and get them all plumb so now we put all the steel in there those steel cages and we're having that inspected today so we can pour that massive footing and then you see over here this is going to be an open skylighted area right but uh Moving right along on this project. We are not gonna stucco this. I'm gonna do some nice metal siding around this and it's gonna have a nice tubular uh, metal uh, custom made cap that stands off of that about a foot tall and hangs out about six inches all the way around. And that will also be powder coated black, nice top. But that's gonna be all wrapped in metal siding, probably black metal siding. This house is going to be uh, several different colors of stucco, smooth finish, including the eaves and all this, uh, all the fascia you see here, all this joist, all this is gonna get stucco, stucco, there'll be lights up here underneath all these awnings. Okay, let's go to the other side and I will show you the mechanical room on the other side. Okay, we're above the garage now, okay? You can see the same system here. We have all the water's gonna fall off and go down here to fall off this flat area, come down here. We will have crickets built to divert that water into those drains, okay? We will make sure that the water has substantial fall. Same here, right? Like in that corner, we don't want water sitting in that corner, so we will slope that this way, put crickets here. But this is our other mechanical room right here, up on the roof of the garage. You can see it gets a door over here, a standard walkthrough door. Gets a standard eight foot door. 
we're actually going to make that a, uh, a six eight door because we need more room down there for our roofing and flashing to come up on the floor we don't want it that that close to the bottom of the uh to the top of the roof we'll build that up put a smaller door but that's our other mechanical room so all the ducting will go down in the floor here go down to the bottom get into the house and it'll run in through this wall right here into the kids closet and we'll put a drop ceiling in there because we have beams in there you can see this beam right here we can't cut through that beam or run ducting through there so we need a drop ceiling so we can get ducting into the other rooms now let's go down and check out how jeremy's doing on the electrical panel okay i climbed up on the very top so you can see oh right here here's an example you see how we framed a three and a half inch tiny wall behind that inch and three quarter so here's the here's the inch and three quarter right uh, fascia that's running around we framed a three and a half inch wall that way we have enough room to run our cap when we do our roofing but same thing up here we got horrible view up on top of the whole entire valley but uh this is way way up here Let's see how long it takes it go way up here this house is huge so this is the top right this looks down over here where we have that mechanical room mechanical room going here get a nice door on the on the back and we'll paint that door we'll powder coat it we don't want to paint it because powder coat lasts a long time we'll powder coat that door to match the siding it will be black won't be visible from the front because this is the back of the house swimming pools going down there where Wes is parked Okay, so our HVAC contractor is going to run his ducting first because there are some areas where he has to come out onto the roof and then go down because that's the only way we can get it into those rooms. We will let him run his ducting first and then we will build walls around it. Yeah, that's it. Let's go down and uh, see how Jeremy and Cody are doing on the electrical panel. Okay, let's go. There goes Jeremy from AC Electric. He's decided he wants to leave and go play golf, right? And that's how I that's how I get treated. So anyway, you can see that they got the panel in. All right, you see that? The we made a template for those. Look at that panel went right on it. See how those are nice and straight, right? 400 amp panel is in. We have our the center of our meter here is at about six feet. You can't be above six feet. It's a little less than six feet. You can't be above six feet. You can't be below four feet. That's code for us out here. And then the breaker inside uh, can't be above six foot seven. But uh, yeah, we got the 400 amp panel in. Everything lined up nice. This conduit right here, like I said, is going to be for low voltage. That conduit runs under the house and out the back. So if I want low voltage lighting in the back, anywhere back there, this one also runs out. This one goes under the house and comes out the other end of the foundation, way down there for the swimming pool panel when we do our swimming pool. And then you see over here, these guys, they know I'm super, super picky about everything being plumb and level. So what they did was they nailed the ledger on here and they leveled that and they set everything exactly the same. Inch and a half spacing in between them, all the same, nice and level and plumb. That's the way we like it. So that's our three panels, our three sub panels. Over here's our main panel on this wall right here. We're getting ready to start our solar layout up on the flat roof that I showed you. And all of our solar design system will go on this wall, along with our sprinkler timer, along with our low voltage timer. Everything will be centrally located on that wall, okay? And I will also have a low voltage panel that will go in here. I'll probably mount it in this wall and our low voltage panel will hold the Wi-Fi and all that stuff will go in here, all the ethernet cable, coaxial cable, okay? All of our low voltage for alarm systems will all come into a panel giant panel might even put it on this side right here because we have a big bay so that's what's happening out here today we're getting a lot done on this project like i said this house is is massive it's like building a commercial building so 
We're gonna continue forward. Our guys just got here. They're gonna start building those crickets up above. They still have some roof sheeting to finish. They gotta finish the rafters around there on the uh, all that steel structure where we had the Nelson studs. So they're gonna finish all that area over there, but uh, things are going really good. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. I know everybody forgets, you know, and if you give us a thumbs up on our video, it helps us build our channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on all of our projects. We have some cool projects going on, a whole bunch of stuff. We got another big giant one starting soon. We're getting ready to move equipment on. So thank you guys for watching the video. Thanks for following along on this project. And hopefully you can learn something by watching our projects. That'll help you with your project. You guys have an awesome day.